Well, it's been another wonderful week. I'd like to welcome you to our brief Wednesday devotional time together today. I was reading recently in the Old Testament back in the book of Deuteronomy and realized again what we have come to understand if we have read the Bible much, that the Old Testament law was very harsh. I was reading in the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 21, 22, and I discovered there that at least four times capital punishment is mentioned and uh, the sin for which it would be enacted. And then the phrase that followed was this, So shalt thou put away evil from among you. Or a phrase similar to that. Four times in Deuteronomy's chapters 21 and 22. I was convicted recently as I read that about the fact that sometimes we're negligent when sin is around us. We don't put the sin away from us. Either personally, in our nation, in our family, in our churches, in our lives. We let sin get close to us and we don't put it away. Because of the law, if they obeyed the law in the Old Testament, they would have very little of these sins because they would put it away. They would put that evil away from them. Others would hear and fear and avoid those particular sins. We are to hate sins. We're not to hate sinners. Don't get that wrong. We're to hate sin and sins. We're to hate sinfulness. In fact, sinfulness ought to be disgusting to us. We're to be, we ought to be revolted by sin. When we're around that which is wrong, it ought to bother us. It ought to make us feel uneasy, even queasy, if you will. But I thought of a couple ways, and I want to share with them, them with you today, that we can put away evil from our lives. The first thing I thought about was this. We need to remove anything in our environment that is evil or would tempt us to do evil. I'll illustrate this by saying if a person has a problem with smoking, he or she ought to put away cigarettes. There shouldn't be any cigarettes around because that would lead him or her to temptation. If a problem, if a person has a problem with alcohol, obviously don't keep alcohol around, don't go into liquor stores, don't have that available, Put it away. Get, away. get away from it and get away from you. But I would think some of us are more prone to have sins like gossip. And if that's the case, maybe you or I need to put away our Facebook account or our social media accounts where we hear so many things and uh, have the temptation to repeat them. I'm talking about sins that we can commit. Sins that will affect our lives. Sins that will affect our attitudes. If I were a chocoholic and it was affecting my life, I would be foolish to keep a lot of chocolate around. Diabetics have things they should keep around and shouldn't keep around. As Christians, we may need to remove some things from our environment or from our lives that can tempt us to sin. I'm not going to sit here today and give you a list of all those things, but I'm giving you an idea. You and I ought to look into our lives and and ask ourselves, what is it that is about me that is evil? What is about me that tempts me? What is it that's all around me? Uh, what can I remove from my environment? If you go home and sit in front of a TV for hour after hour after hour, maybe you need to remove the TV. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a TV in your home. What I am saying, though, is you should remove any temptation that's going to tempt you to do wrong. When God convicts us, we ought not to wait. We ought to respond to his conviction. So we ought to remove anything from our environment that tempts us. But the second thing is this. There are sometimes we can't remove those things or those people or those influences from our environment. So here's the other side of that. When we have things that tempt us or people that tempt us or people whose attitude changes our attitude to be wrong attitudes, we ought to remove ourselves from that environment. Remove ourselves from those people or those things. 
There are people who are greedy and talk all the time about money and what they can get. If that causes you to have that same kind of attitude, if it causes you to be covetous in your heart, in your mind, you ought to remove yourself from that kind of a person. If you're around a person that is often telling jokes that are uh, just slightly off color, but they, they're wrong and you know they're wrong, perhaps you need to remove yourself from that person. You see, back in the Old Testament days, they would stone people to death. They would have capital punishment to remove that which was evil from their society. We're very unlikely to do that today, and nor should we, unless it's through the government, and through the right laws, and all those sorts of things. But in our own lives, maybe we need to have some capital punishment. Maybe we need to put some things away, or get away from some things that tempt us to sin. We're supposed to be spiritual. We're supposed to follow the Holy Spirit. I even think that this attitude of fear that, we, that pervades our society today, this spirit of fear, fear of the unknown, uh, that can rub off on us if we're not careful. A man called me this week from out of state for a certain matter, and he asked me how I was doing, and at that particular time I was headed over to make a visit with some of our elderly shut-ins. And he said, well, have you quarantined yourself for 14 days? I said, why in the world should I do that? This particular man was living in fear. In fact, he said he has a large uh, amount of property up in another state. And he said, I haven't been off my property but twice in the last six months. I'm not going to get that COVID thing. I'm not going, well, there's a spirit of fear. I don't want to be around that kind of people. So my encouragement for you today is this. Put away evil. If there's something in your life or some things in your life that are tempting you to sin or causing you to sin, put them away. Get rid of them. And if you are around or in an environment or with people whose attitudes and whose spirit is such that it uh, hurts you spiritually, it causes you to sin, then get away. Get away. Let's be like the Israelites on a very practical way today, let's put away evil from our lives. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.